What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be doing a review of the Logman application for the iPad. Uh, this also comes on the iPod Touch. This is a $30 application. A bit expensive, uh, but let me show you what it does and you'll probably think totally different than that. So before we get into the actual review of it, let's talk a little bit about it. Uh, Logman is an application that lets you control your computer from your iPad or iPhone. Uh, in this case, I'm going to be using the iPad. It does look amazing on the screen. And it's basically exactly like you're sitting in front of your computer. You see your computer screen on it. You can move your mouse. You can control everything, look at files, browse the internet. It's like you're sitting in front of your computer. And you can control your computer anywhere. It doesn't matter if you're in your house or you're on the other side of the world. If you can connect to a 3G signal or Wi-Fi signal, you can use this. And once you buy this application, you can use it on the iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. It's a universal application. So let's go ahead and get into the review, and I'm going to show you what this app does. So let's go ahead and click on the application and launch it up. Uh, before you actually use the application on your iPhone or iPad, you do need to install it on your computer. Uh, it does work for Mac and PC. So you can go ahead and download that from their site. Uh, it's just logman.com. I'll have a link in the description of that. So I'm just going to tap log in. You can set it to remember your details. So as you see, here's all the computers I can connect to. I can connect to my mom's iMac. I can connect to my MacBook. I can connect to my HP TouchMart, or I can connect to my MacBook Pro, which it says is offline. Uh, all you got to do is go on their site, set this up. It takes a second. You just hit, you go on logman.com, you hit add computer, uh, you download the app, install it, and it's there. It's in your account. It's set up. It's ready to go. It took me like three minutes to install the apps on all my computers. So I'm just going to tap on my MacBook and go ahead and connect to it. So let's go ahead and read over the little tips that pops up. Uh, we can do a pinch to zoom in and zoom out just like you can on uh, the Safari app of the, on the iPhone or iPod Touch uh, or iPad. Uh, we can do a one finger uh, to pan the screen or move the mouse. I'll show you that in just a minute. Uh, we got single taps, or which are single clicks. You just tap to click. Uh, you can do a double tap, which is a double click. Uh, two fingers, if you tap with two fingers, that's going to do a right click for you. Uh, you put two fingers down and drag to scroll. Uh, we can shake the device to switch between monitors, which sadly I'm not going to be able to show you that because I don't have dual monitor set up. Uh, and then we can change panning mode and settings. So uh, that's basically a rundown of the little uh, helpful tips. Alright, and there we go. You see there's my MacBook screen. And uh, up here at the top we have a little window uh, saying that we are connected. And that's you can actually see that on your screen. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch. I'm going to take the lock off and I'm going to put this in big screen. So that's what it looks like. It looks like I have Mac OS X installed on my iPad. Alright, so let's show you uh, how to use this. So uh, we can zoom in, as I said, pinch to zoom in. That works perfectly fine. Uh, you can see the mouse on my computer. You can move it. It doesn't matter where your finger is. You can actually move the mouse from anywhere. Uh, whenever you, like, you see the mouse is right there. If I move my finger over here, it's going to control the mouse. So basically, it's kind of it kind of takes a little bit to get used to, but let's say I wanted to open up uh, Firefox. I'm going to move my mouse to it, and I don't click right here. I don't try to move my finger to Firefox or tap on Firefox. I have to move the mouse onto it and then tap anywhere on the screen. I double tapped uh, so it'll open up and there goes Firefox. You see there is a little bit of lag in it but that is going to come with any application like this. Uh, there's more applications out there like this and this is by far the best and smoothest one I've used. Like dragging the mouse is just so smooth. Uh, you see it, it. It just looks really great. So let's go ahead and to show you the keyboard on it. We're going to tap in the search field on YouTube bring up the keyboard and you can use it just like you can any other computer. There's the keyboard. I'm going to search my name. And then we can hide the keyboard and there we go. And if we like to scroll down the page, all we do is hold two fingers down and scroll. We have a little button here at the bottom we can hit that will uh, switch us between right and left clicking. Uh, you can just tap now and um, it will right click. Uh, or you can just double click right here and or two finger click and it will uh, right click for you. Uh, we can zoom in with this button, uh, or if we're zoomed in so on looking on something and we hit the little zoom out button, it's going to zoom all the way out for us quickly. We've got settings. Let's take a look at those. Uh, we can change the co the color quality, the resolution, uh, the network speed, which we have set to audio right now. Uh, we can set a blank screen, lock keyboard. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. Change the settings around just to make it a better experience for you. I'm just going to hit done there. And yeah, you basically get the gist of it. You can control your computer uh, from anywhere in the world, no matter where you are, as long as your computer's on. Uh, and I think this is a great way to uh, check up like on your house like if your computer is sitting somewhere in the open like in your living room or something like that and it has a webcam on it you can sit here and let's show you this I'll open up photo booth and you will see my webcam pop up and there we go you actually see me on the computer right here's my tripod and I'm recording I think that's a pretty good pretty cool thing I uh, to be able to do is just open it up and you can check in on your house 
So this application is great for business people, uh, especially because say you travel a lot, you can control your computer, uh, you've got files you need to look at and you can't bring them with you. It's a great way to be on your work computer while you're at home. You don't actually have to go into work to get something. It's just, I love this application right here. I'm definitely going to use it. I'm actually about to go to New Jersey in a few days uh, and I'm definitely going to be using this application to get on my home computer uh, while I'm in New Jersey. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you'd like to pick up this app, I'll have a link in the description to download it, as well as a, a link to their site where you can uh, download the computer application for it. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like the video. Uh, leave me some comments below. Let me know what you think about this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.